Hello, and welcome to Sailing Elsie. My name is Seth, and I aim to earn your subscription today. So in this week's episode, we're going to disconnect the wind turbine and connect up... Oop, can you see them? I don't know. Here. We're going to connect up one of our, my new solar panels. They're 550 watt bifacials. And just see what we get. What's the difference? All right, the first step is I need to get this wind turbine down. There's no wind right now, and it's supposed to be super hot later, like a 103. And so now is the perfect time to go ahead and take care of this. Living wild where the train winds blow. This is home all we need. All right, I have used a lot of uh, wire strippers in my day. And these are my favorite, and they're cheap. So I will put a link in the description. But it's really cool. You can set this uh, little depth cage so that they're all the same. So you can do nice uniform cuts. And it's simple. You just put it in there. Squeeze, done. Put it in there. Squeeze, done. nice uniform so this is definitely not the right wire to be using but this is just a test these are the wires I used to test the uh, the wind turbine and I put on these uh, connectors on the end just so when I screw them into here they have a little bit more to bite on than the tiny wire so uh, it's gonna be impossible to do it one-handed so I uh, gotta put you guys down all right we got those put in and they're nice and secure so let's go upstairs and flip the breaker on and see what kind of power we get it's still early so I'll be curious how much we get all right so here is the setup one solar panel dirty maybe I'll clean it or maybe I will run it and then clean it and see if we see a difference in the output and how much anyway connections come off and they're going to breaker let's go ahead and flip it on and we'll go downstairs and er, come on and see what kind of numbers we're getting so this is already constantly and consistently putting out what the wind turbine put out in a peak 15 mile an hour wind gust I mean just peaked one time 132 watts or 137 watts actually and here we are at 133 constant steady let me show you a picture of the panel it's not even in full sun yet so uh, I'll be see, curious to see how this goes throughout the day all right so here's a building and the boom that shades this panel in the morning and you can see how much of it is shaded actually let me zoom out so you get a better idea there you go so it's not completely shaded but it's putting out way more than that wind turbine did already just in uh, total power output here we are 10 15 minutes later already over 150 watts 15 minutes later we're up another 30 watts all right so we're just after 12 30 just afternoon and um, it's not exactly high noon yet. The uh, shadows are still kind of cast over towards the west. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this off and um, we'll take a look at the power right now and then where we're at right after. Okay, so right now we're at 198. Alright, so we're essentially the same as we were before, maybe even a little less. I'm going to have to try this experiment a different day. I didn't notice that the charger went from bulk charging into absorption charging. That's why the numbers aren't really different. There would definitely be some small difference, I would think. So we'll try that another time. 
so here is the end of the day it is dark outside i don't know if you noticed but it's still making over four volts uh, of uh, electricity at the panel i guess it's not completely dark but the sun is down the uh <laughs> that's it anyway um we are here to look at what we made today today 1.44 kilowatts kilo sorry 1.44 kilowatt hours today so the other the wind turbine was up for like three weeks and made like 440 450 uh watt hours and this one panel has been hooked up and it made that and a thousand more watts in one day so I'm definitely gonna get rid of that wind turbine hey guys I'm just finishing up the edit of this video and I'm realizing I did it again I made a long boring data kind of video sorry the next two are gonna be really good uh, this coming week I have a bunch of aluminum that came in and me and a buddy are going to weld up a new frame for the new solar panels so those will finally make uh, make their way to their new home and then the following week I've already got in all my transmission parts so I need to pull the engine out again I guess this will be number six and then uh, take that transmission apart um, replace all the replaceables put her back together and slide her back in I've got some new engine mounts for it as well so fingers are crossed that this fixes all transmission issues and um, but again yeah that's for the next next two weeks so we got a uh, next week is welding and then the following week is transmission so thank you for being my subscribers if you haven't don't forget to thumbs up leave a comment below till next week